Welcome to God with George Ortega. This is episode number 124. I'm recording it on Wednesday, April 14th, 2021 at 11.50 a.m. Eastern time. So uh, yeah, I was just uh, attending an excellent class on um, the relationship between music and words, like in songs and prayers, and, yeah, and it was really excellent. So, um, okay, um, God, so let's talk. All right, um, uh, I've got a, I've got a therapy, therapy appointment later, and so like, um, I need you to get me either to do some more work on the script, um, the call script now, or, um, I mean, the, you know, I've got some time, so I wouldn't mind actually heading out before then and, um, and you know, doing it at the Westchester or the Galleria or, you know, one of these open spaces. So, um, but, but, you know, thank you. Today is like, you know, um, today has been going really well so far. Um, I'm not sure why, but um, so, you know what I did got him like just, I mean, you know, but like, you know, um, there, you know, that, that pharmacy in town, um, arranged for the vaccines and I got vaccinated through them, Sunshine Pharmacy. And, um, and so like, you know, I, I'm so grateful, you know, I just got my second dose last week. I'm so grateful that I'm going to begin to volunteer there, you know, and I, actually I'm gonna volunteer um, this Friday um, on a couple of days. So, um, so that should be good. Um, and I want to keep doing that. I want to do that, you know, um, however long, um, because, you know, I'm, 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 again, I'm out of gratitude. So, um, all right. Um, what else? Uh, let's see. Yeah, so like I, um, all right, God, I, now I need your help. I was thanking you last episode. I was just thanking you profusely for so much, you know, and, and you know, that was like very important. It was very good. But now, like, you know, they're like, this place needs a little straightening up. It's pretty good, but there are some things that I absolutely need to put away. So what I would like you to do, God, is like, as soon as I'm done with this, you know, while the video is processing, um, I want you to have me start get, you know, just finishing up this, this, you know, straightening up. Okay. And, and God, then like, as I was saying that I was, as I was finishing saying that you put into my mind, the thought that, you know, after I do that, what I would like to do is, um, is begin the project of, of putting those, um, the data on these hard drives from old computers into this one computer to just, you know, compile them all, you know, so I want to do that, and I'd appreciate uh, I'd appreciate it if you would have it happen because it's not up to me. So, so you know, um, and um, and then I, you know, I mean, before I, I had the thought of straightening up, I I, I felt well, you know, after the class because I just attended the class and I thought I was going to like just start jamming on bass guitar or whatever, but but so like yeah, after the straightening up and the um, the hard drives, then I want, I want to like, you know, start, you know, playing some, you know, music today. Cause you know, I really, you know, like I was, you know, I was um, listening to um, uh, this, this book, uh, you know, I was listening to an audio version, whatever, um, Harrison on, George Harrison on George Harrison. And, um, and he talked about like, you know, when he went to India um, he studied um, sitar under Rabbi Shankar, who's like the master, and he, he mentioned something like that, that uh, Shankar and, and other sitarists um, play for 18 hours a day, and that, that to me is really inspirational because like, you know, I was on a bass chat because, you know, there's some professional bassists that I um, that I ask questions that I get seek advice from, you know, on, the, on this website. And, and you know, some of the, the, the people there were saying, well, you really, you know, you don't really have to practice more than um, an hour a day. Because I was complaining that, you know, when I first, this was months ago, my, my fingers would, would hurt after a while, after playing, let's say, a couple of hours or so. And um, 
so yeah, so now, you know, I've got some, these healthy calluses going and so it's not hurting as much. So yeah, I would, I would like God, you know, do me a favor. I'd be like, if you have me playing guitar four or five hours a day, that would be, that would be wonderful. I mean, you've got me, you know, you know, not too infrequently, you have me meditate for four or five hours a day. So I could, you know, I wouldn't mind using some of that time at least to, um, to practice more because, because, you know, I mean, I'm so thankful that the process of getting better at bass feels so good. And, and, and it's interesting about how it's kind of like, you know, we talked about this earlier, just that it, it, um, it imparts confidence, you know, and, uh, and confidence is, is, you know, a major component of what I need to, uh, to finance the film. So, you know, so it's working out on various levels. And, you know, ideally, you know, in, you know, in a year or so, um, I would like to, you know, have a calling card as, as a um, studio bass player, you know, and, and, and you know, either online or head into Manhattan, into the city, the Bronx, wherever, and, and you know, to the recording studios. And, and so, yeah, I'd like to do that. It's, it's too early to talk about that in any detail, but that, that would be the plan, unless I hook up with a band, you know, with some other, you know, but, but no, I, I'd, I'd much prefer to do the studio work at this point. You know, again, so that's a year away. So, um, and I appreciate the optimism, God, because it, it does, feel like you know like you want that to happen like it, it's going to happen you know which is a good feeling uh a year maybe too early maybe two but but you know um so yeah i appreciate that all right um so 20 minutes left what else god thank you for um having me reach out to my friend uh my high school friend one of my best friends in high school and a few years after and uh, so hopefully we'll be talking this afternoon. You know, that, that, that should be nice. I got to give him a call. And I got to remember, I, I'll call him like early in the afternoon and then he can he'll have a chance to call me back. Um, I guess what I can do is call him before I head out and then he may reach me while I'm, while I'm out, but that'd be cool. Um, so, all right, so what else? So like, God, yeah, this is kind of like, you know, going through my day with you, just like what, what, um, what I expect. Um, what I, yeah. All right. So like, again, that, that um, I'm about, it seems God, you're, you're pushing me closer to beginning to paint. Let me check out this. I, I made this, this is like um, when I had this, this meetup in, in Manhattan called the Predetermined Will Society. That was the first name of the free will meetup. You know, I then changed it to, um, Exploring illusion of free will, but um, but I had this mug uh, made up, and I, I I had some magnets made up. I guess I'm talking to the audience, you know this. <laughs> so like so I would give them away at the meetings. That was cool. I still kept one of the magnets. It's on my refrigerator. So anyway, so um, so yeah, I'm I'm totally looking forward to talking with my friend and. Um, so what else? Do I, so yeah, so basically what I want, want to do, God, is like, you know, um, put that, that, sh that little strip on that board, that gray board behind me. Um, and so that I would, you know, I will prop up the paintings on that, you know, that it's kind of like serving as, as my easel. So, um, so I want, I want to finish that. And um, what else? You know what I'd like, you know, I, I'm, it's funny. So like last session I was thanking you. I, I had nothing that I, you know, wanted to ask you about. And now this session, I'm not really thanking you. So I am thanking you some, but like I'm asking you more, which I guess is fine, you know, I, I, you know. So God, as you recall, you know, several months ago, you had me thinking of um, making some vegan cheese. I found this recipe online and then you got me to buy the ingredients online, um, uh, what is it, agar agar um, powder or flour and some other kind of flour or whatever. Um, so anyway, I've got the ingredients. So I had the ingredients for, for a while, some coconut milk, um, 
And so like, I would appreciate it. I think it'd be fun. You know, I guess maybe my life has been perhaps a little too busy recently and so I haven't gotten to it. But so I, I'd like to do that. And also, you know, I, I need to do some cooking. <laughs> so, you know, I gotta like, you know, I wanna make some millet and barley and, um, and quinoa and just like, you know, just stock up my, uh, my freezer, you know, with stuff like that. Um, and I wouldn't mind a salad for once, that'd be nice. So, um, what else? And God, well, here's the thank you. Thank, I, I got great sleep last night. I, I must have slept like eight, nine, maybe ten hours. I, you know, which is nice. And 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 thank you, you know, for having the sleep sleep come at night instead of like you know having me up all night and and awake during the day. Because I mean, you do that, you know, too often sometimes. I think. I'm... Okay. Um, so let's see. All right, now I just remembered. Um, I don't know if I'm talking any calmer now than, um, than, than I usually do. And I think sometimes when I prop myself up on that chair, you know, it may um, lead to it. Because I'm trying to talk in, a, in as calm a way as possible you know, because it feels good, you know, once in a while you ever, and I'm going to try to do this now, I guess I'm talking to the audience, which is fine. Um, when, you, when you sometimes like see these, these Hindu gurus, you know, Maharishi Mahesh Yogi uh, and, and others talk, you know, if you have, if, you know, especially with the Mahar, Maharishi, you know, he was like interviewed, I think by Johnny Carson, the certain people back then. And he's got like this very, well, he, he's got a very high voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny, but uh, but it does. It is a very pleasant and calm voice, and I want to cultivate that. You know, my my default mode of expression is uh, is you know is a bit intense. It's a bit um, it's it's not all that calm. I mean, I, you know, if I if I focus on it, I can you know. But but yeah, all right. So now I'm talking to you again, God. So God, you know. I want to continue working on that through these shows because, for example, yes, this is this good year having me figure this out, God. Like when I start making those phone calls asking people for money for you know appointments to to you know finance the film, um, my remaining calm, you know, and, and you know controlling that more, I think is going to be you know a key component of my sounding confident. Um, be confident to them. So, so that's another another reason why I think this would be important. Um, and 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 as we're talking about that, God, you know, again, like I, I I'd like to, you know, just gave me this idea to look um, to maybe read a Kindle book or something or listen to it, a, a book on how to sound persuasive. You know, not to, not the words. I'm not, you know, I, I think the words are something I have to figure out how to persuade people that, you know, that it's in their interest to finance this film, but 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 more so the um the nonverbal components, you know, how I sound, uh, cadence, all that stuff. All right, so um, so yeah, I'd appreciate your help on that. Um, all right, so like now, I was just thinking, so like, I, you know, after attending that, that class was 45 minutes, this is now like another, it will be a, another half an hour. So I feel a little, like I want to rest a little, but no, I, I want to do that straightening up. But also now I'm also feeling that I want to like, while I'm straightening up, I want to listen to some music. So God, what I'd like to do is, um, I'd like to listen to love songs because you know you have me in the, you know my my playlist of, of of love songs, top love songs, and now you're having me kind of like cull it to me. Like there's got to be maybe 100, 150 songs there. I want to like bring it down to to about 50, um, you know, which which are the very you know, and for the sake of the audience, you know, a lot of these love so songs that I have on the um, in the playlist now. You know, they may be love songs, but a lot of times they're like about love 
failing or love, love not happening or losing love and all that stuff. And I don't want to, I don't want to like um, hear about that. I don't want to like jam to that. I, I just, I want to limit this playlist to love that's going well, you know, love that's being celebrated, that's being, you know, the, the singer, you know, the, the words convey gratitude and just like expressing the, the, the positivity of it. That to me could like other, you know, there's other songs that are kind of like, you know, I, I don't think they're love songs. You know, they're they're kind of like complaint songs, like you did me wrong and <laughs> kicked you to the curb. <laughs> and so like, you know, and a lot of songs are like that. So, um, all right, so so yes, yeah, so while I'm straightening up God, you know, then I can play my, my top love songs playlist. And then I, you know, so God, as you know, I you had me create recently a top, top love songs because I started with love songs and I went to top and now top, top. And um, and yeah, so I'll, I'll just like you know that that will be the um, the the ones that I like the most. That that'll be hopefully the, the the maybe they'll just be 40, 40, 50. I don't know. All right, so it's um, I've got about 20, 12 minutes left, and it's a little after twelve. Um, what else? So. I'm, I'm establishing, I'm trying to establish a routine for, you know, when I walk through town. I, um, all right, God, let, help me figure out this, this, this um, question I'm having. I, I go to, and this is a very interesting question. I think the audience will appreciate this. There are two malls, two major malls in town. I think there's three altogether now. Um, it depends on what you call them all. But anyway, the, the major malls are the Westchester and the Galleria, and then there's White Plains Mall that's a lot smaller. But so now the, the Westchester Mall is uh, is more affluent, and the, the Galleria is more working class, you know, and um, they have different feels, you know. Like when I walk through the Westchester, it's like walking through a museum. It's so beautiful. I mean, like the, the displays on the storefronts and the architecture, the interior design of, of the, you know, the place is really beautiful. And, you know, and, and it's very spacious. And so I love walking through that. You know, I, I, um, you have me, you know, basically doing kind of, I guess, a lap of the three floors, which turns out to be about a mile or so. And, um, and then, you know, so you have me also going, doing that in the gallery. So like, basically what I, I all right, we're going to try to figure out because I'd like a routine. I, I, here's what I what I, and and the question becomes whether I should be working on the um, on the calling script and notes for the film and stuff at the Galleria or at the Westchester. Um, and so I've been trying it, and I'm not sure, but I got to think what I'm going to be doing is like I want to walk to the Galleria first. Um, and then even before I start walking, yes, this, this is the plan. And this may you know, be around, it's only 12. This may ha happen at maybe three because I've got to get back here by five. So um, maybe two, whatever. But yes, but so, all right. So that's what I want you to have me do, God. You know, um, walk to the Galleria, start working on the um, more of the call script, maybe some notes and, um, and then, um, then you know, walk the um, walk the, the floors of the gallery. I, 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 they're probably about a mile. There's three floors there also, actually two. But um, but yeah, then then walk from the gallery to the Westchester, and and so like God, you've had me kind of like walking, but kind of like you know, feeling. The fatigue of walking. So, so basically, you know, I want you to determine like when I get to the Westchester, you know, to have me aware, be keenly aware of whether I should like walk that mile initially and then sit down, um, or or sit down, you know. But then, you know, if I did the work at the gallery, I'm not sure I want to do more work at the um, at the Westchester. So, uh, well, I, I could sit down and, and go through, let's say, the, the today's news, you know, go through the Times, the Post, you know, so, all right, I could do that. 
Um, so let's see. All right, got eight, eight minutes left. Um, yeah, no, I, I got to thank you for, for today, my having woken up feeling good and having gotten rest and, you know, the day's going well. Um, yeah, I, I really, I'm tired. Yeah, I, I do feel, all right, I want to return to the, the theme of, of talking calmly. Uh, and, and, and this is new to me that, you know, that I'm giving it the attention that I am. But God, you know, when, when, um, when you have me talk in a way that, um, that's a bit tense, a bit anxious, um, it, I think that tires me out, you know, um, especially when doing, you know, 28 minutes of this. So, so yeah, I, I, again, I want to, you know, I'd like you to have me just learn that skill of, of remaining calm and, uh, and just, you know, just, it, it's, it's a different mode of talking for me. You know, uh, some people I think are really good at it, uh, but, um, but yeah, all right. So, because like, if, if I can, if I can, if I can do that, then um, it'll take less energy to, um, and, and I mean, I guess it's no big deal if I tire myself out you know, after like an hour and a half of like, you know, this and, and the class, then I could easily just meditate a little afterwards, whatever, you know. But I, I feel fine, I've got a lot of energy. And actually, I'd, I'd like to eat something before I, you know, just a little quick, I haven't eaten anything all day. So maybe a small salad um, and I'll eat the salad while listening to the music and straightening up. Cause like sometimes like, you know, God, you know, when you have me like make a meal and I sit down, I mean, it's gone in like five minutes. Whereas like, you know, if you sometimes like have me make a meal and then have me like, you know, put it um, on some kind of like a stand so I can like eat while I'm standing. So I'll take a, let's say a fork full of, of, of salad and I'll be chewing on it and I'll be, um, you know, straightening up. I like to do that sometimes. I don't know, actually, you know, I got to look for the Jewish law on that. that. That may not be, you know, maybe when we eat, we're not supposed to do other stuff. Or, I mean, we're supposed to study Torah, perhaps. But, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so yes, I, um, I'm looking forward to, um, to eating a salad. Yes, that would be nice. And without the croutons, because like, you know, I don't trust you with the croutons, God. No, there's no way you're going to have me yeah, and, and, and actually, I got to thank you. So like last night, yes, last night, it was like really late. Um, I think it was after 12. Yeah, it was definitely after 12. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, well, you know, I, I'm a little hungry. But then part of me was saying, well, I don't think so. Because it doesn't really feel like real hunger. You know, so anyway, so like, you know, ultimately, I didn't eat anything. And so like, you know, so I, I mean, I'm, I'm two pounds from, from my target weight of 153. And, you know, it's like, I could like yesterday after I had said that, then I weighed myself again and I was like actually three, four pounds. And so like, so I'm back to two pounds. So um, I'm going to continue my, my diet, just basically eating less. I mean, I, you know, sometimes people make dieting complicated in terms of what to eat and when to eat and all that stuff. No, I mean, this is for the audience. I mean, dieting, you want to lose weight, just eat less. Forget about the exercise, forget about anything else. Just eat less and that's it. That's, that's how I do it. I'm like, yeah. Um, once in a while, I, I, I notice, because like I weigh, I weigh myself every once in a while, you know, try to do it regularly then. But once in a while, I forget what to weigh myself and I, I'll notice that I've gained a few pounds. So yeah, so what I do for the next days, a few days after that, I eat less. I mean, yeah, that's that's really um, that's really what what um, what losing weight or maintaining weight is about. Um, and actually, I should do some work on that because, like, we have a, a major problem in this country and in the world with, with with people, and it's it's like, you know, it's it's very unfortunate because they are victims of of our marketing. God, I'm getting political. I'm getting kind of like, you know, trying to fix society, but you know, that's all right. Yeah. You know? So God, what, what I'd like you to, 
I don't think, you know, well, basically, I'm just going to present this this idea to the audience. And, you know, because you know, I've got too many projects I'm undertaking right now to launch something else. And actually, we've got to talk about this other project, the, the Climate Rescue Capitalism, because it's time to create, start that series. And, and maybe, you know, I'm going to make a note to myself, because that is, you know, the, the, the script and the, you know, the film financing, it's proceeding. Again, it's not going to be, I, I probably won't start making calls for another several months, but that's going well. But so like, yes, I'm going to make a note to myself. I, I you know, would like you to have me do this, uh, an email to myself just saying that, um, that let's say tomorrow when I, when I do this episode, I talk with you about just basically um, what I need to do to start the climate rescue capitalism series. And, um, you know, it shouldn't be a big deal, but I just have to figure a few things out. I have to figure out a title for the, for the, um, the series. All right. So, all right, we've got about two minutes left. So this was nice. And, and I notice again that my, my speech has become a bit more, again, technically in psychology it's called pressured, <coughs> pressured speech. Speech that, that, you know, it's like the act of talking creates anxiety. And yeah, I guess in my family, I was the youngest and I was the smartest. So like, <laughs> it was intimidating to the rest of my family when I, when I would say stuff. So they, you know, they may be discouraged. <laughs> Maybe I was afraid to say stuff uh, because of that. I don't know. Um, all right, minute and a half left. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so um, I'm looking forward to, I don't know if I, I'll eat the salad because I don't want to like, you know, I want to get straight to the clean. So maybe I'll just eat an apple or something. Yeah, I'm gonna eat an apple while, while I begin the straightening up and then eat the salad maybe after I'm done with that. All right, so a minute left. Um, all right, audience, thanks for watching. Catch this every Monday through Friday at five o'clock. Uh, right here on White Plains Community Media, channel 76, if you get Optimum, 45, if you get Verizon. And I upload the, the, all the, the videos to my Facebook. And I don't know what the address is, but like this, you know, George Ortega, White Plains, and, and also to YouTube, so you can find them there if you need them. And I mean, 124 episodes, not bad. I mean, again, like, um, God, we, we got to like, it's going to be interesting to see if you have me do, let's say, 200 episodes, 250, what I'll be talking about then. And, and, and you willing, you know, maybe, you know, hopefully I'll be talking in a very, like, like a guru, like, you know, sit here and like, you know, just talk in a very calm, pleasant, peaceful way. I would love to do that. I'd love to master like that. You know, maybe we can have a gig as a, as a guru. All right. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, have a great day and I'll see you soon. God willing.